Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a beautiful 62 degree Friday, the 26th of May. Oh, no mighty TGIF. Not a cloud in the sky. Yep. All right, let's roll. All right. I think it's going to be a little warmer today, Mama, because it's already 72. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be warmer than what they say. Well, they're like 62, 64 or something yesterday. I don't know, yeah. maybe it's more than that. That note, air conditioner is running harder than normal. Mm -hmm. You just put that thing in auto and it just controls the seats, the fans, where it blows. Wild. It knows when the sun's in your face and yeah. blows to the upper vents. It's magical. The intelligence of Honda. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, have yourself a wonderful Friday. You too, Hubba Hubba. We'll see you at the end. We'll start off a nice long weekend. All right. It's going to be nice. Yes. Really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. Now. I love you, babe. Bye bye now. Mm, bye. Doing a service and recall inspection of the drive shaft, putting the drain hole and all that good stuff in it. And um, yeah, we'll be done with that. This is that 2016 uh, R1200GS. Drive shaft passed all the tests, put the drain in it. Everything's uh, cool. Just remember we had to put the uh, collars up there around the top of the forks. It's been a minute or two ago. Let's take it for a rip. <laughs> it's got those tires on there that they, whoo -hoo, they feel a little weird. But you get used to them soon enough. These, when we first uh, became a dealer, this what we had is a showroom full of 2016s. Look, that's the old Nav. That ain't, might be the Nav 4. No, it's a Nav 5. The Nav 6, they got away from the, you know, the plastic borders and it was like all screen. They all work. I mean, they're all fantastic in their in their day. Now there's the Nav 7 out, and um, the user interface is a lot different. And this, the screen is a uh, very sensitive. You know, it's kind of like your phone. The touch sensitivity is just like just like your phone. The Nav 6 had. You touch screen, but it was more of that, you know, you got a pressure push. Nice, really, really nice. He's got these cleated foot pegs that like grab my shoes like crazy. <laughs> it's some aftermarket. Thing. They're uh, very cleaty. Used to being able to move my foot a little easier than that. You know, from you know coming to a stop and I don't know, your foot's always I don't know, move my feet too much or something. I wonder what used to be down there. Or that just part of a drainage thing. I guess that's all it is, huh? Come on, beamer. I'm excited to get that fusion motor and that Gen 8, but before the motor goes in, I'm taking that sucker completely apart to the last gear, nut, and bolt, the old tranny and uh, transfer case. It's a separate transfer case, so it, the uh, drive shaft comes out of the, out of the engine goes into the transfer case and then from there from the transfer case there's one that the axle that goes to the back one that goes to the front i don't know if it's all that separation or because the gen 8 was quite noisy too and i haven't taken it apart and i, I got that gear set for it, that cnc uh steel gear set I don't know if the Gen 9 comes with it because I don't see that as an option for the Gen 9s. But I'll find out. <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, I'll take her for a 
take the Gen 8 and the Gen 9 for a little rip. I wasn't even going to show it to you guys. I, I'm going to... This thing is so plain. I'm going to... You know, it comes with a pretty cool uh, decal set. Or decal. For you guys up north and overseas. <laughs> but every, it's funny. All these years I've never heard that. And it was literally watching a guy doing a review on some RC car or whatever he's talking about putting the decals on he called them decals I thought he was just joking around no it's like you guys spell tire T-Y-R-E you always spell it T-I-R-E it's funny how we can be connected there's just this border and the language changes <laughs> language in the rules Well, I think it's really fun, super fun, and I would like to have the well, I'd like to have the last edition because they're easier to read. Edition of the you know analog gauges and stuff, but a uh, a short chassis GS. My views of a short chassis GSA is drastically different. The short chassis GS, the suspension is definitely stiffer. And um, I didn't like that part of it, but they just feel so like a hooligan kind of bike. Like you just want to go out and go buck wily, be stupid, you know, go wheeling down alleyways and all the things you used to be able to do and probably wouldn't get in that much trouble if you got caught. I'd never do something like that now, but, you know, hit a couple of sidewalks here and there, go ripping down there, fly over some of the little humps where the, the drives come in and just get stupid. <laughs> All right, got nobody right on my tail. Safely make my turn here. You know, somebody commented about, you know, the, all the camps, shall we say, on the side of the roads and stuff. I don't know where they're all at now, but they just, just don't see it anywhere. Anywhere I go, anywhere I drive here in town, which is uh, just my test rides and the fastest route to the freeway to get back north home. I don't spend no time around here. <laughs> Kelly and I were young. We moved to Portland and we thought, oh man, we're in the big city. It's all, everything's busy. It's always going. You know, it, it, it's always, always on. Used to go drive with that gunman and rolled around and ended up back with that boy, that truck. I think this white car is about to run down and give me a touch there. What do you think? Forget these older boxers. They're rough shifters, boy. <laughs> they so vastly, vastly improved that. I mean, they're so rough. I. They made so much noise even with the shift assist. I just didn't even, I just manually do it. It's funny, some people actually complain about the newer ones. It's really rough in first and second. You know, whether you're going up or down. And uh, so you don't know what rough is. Oh, look at that. I caught the gate with somebody opening that thing. How about that? There we go. Take her inside. She's done. She's cooked. <laughs> All right, let me see you guys. So I'm sure you guys are used to how noisy this Gen 8 is. It's literally the loudest RC car that I have. And uh, yeah, she's quite, quite grungy, grindy sounding. I've never taken apart a grease or anything. I was going to do that when I put those CNC gears in there, but... Uh, just for a comparison here, listen to this one going up the hill. It's kind of noisy. And those flashing lights. You don't see that. You only see it through the camera. It's the frequency of the LEDs conflicting, having a confrontation with the frame rate of my camera. 
but uh, hang tight here a second. So this is the new Gen 9 Scout that was released by uh, Red Cat here about four months ago. Crazy how much heavier that thing is as well. But uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of cool features about this one. Completely stock. Here's a stock radio for it. And uh, I mean, everything is completely stock. But listen how loud this thing is. <laughs> Sorry, I was paying more attention to the car than the than the camera. Always do that. But that's uh it comes with some pretty cool decals that I think I'm gonna I use them mess with the decals but uh, I think I will with this one just to break things up just a little bit let me uh, let me pop the tops off of these things right quick and show you the difference between the Gen 8 and Gen 9 so for starters is how the body mounts to each of them this one had velcro on both sides and I switched to magnets all the way around, which is really nice. It's very easy because it just places itself in the correct spot. It's key that you put the magnets on. Very exacting. They have grooves in here, pre-made. Red Cat did that. But uh, you can see that, you know, the chassis stuff is a bit wider. The fenders are a little, you know, providing a little more coverage. So you can barely see the tire sticking out. This one sticks way out. And you'll notice the wheels are at the same place. The Gen 8's a little bit longer wheelbase. I've already got the Fusion Pro in this one. This is a stock 550 brush motor it comes with. Stock ESC. Everything's, everything's stock on this one, like I said. Um, one key difference is you see a shift servo here. There's a shift shaft that goes in the high and low gear. Um, high gear on this thing is like ridiculously fast and that's with a two cell. I haven't even tried this thing with a three cell. I'll play with that once I get the fusion motor in it. But yeah, um, way faster than a rock crawler should be. But the, how the body, I showed you, you know, the magnets, it was Velcro. This one has these little levers up front and it has a hook style in the back. So you find the little hook, and you gotta go way back. There we are. Not, not in the other side. I can't do anything with my left hand, as you can tell. But anyway, so it hooks in there, falls down, and you flip and lock those latches. But you need to get in it. You just tilt it back. See the little levers? And there's the little, the little hooks right there. Those little bars, that's what it hooks on. And then them levers, there's little notches here and here that you spin them inward, or actually be this way, and uh, clips in these little notches underneath. The underside of them is pretty much, pretty much the same. All that bump steer stuff, watch how this one, I don't know if I can get that with all that glare. Yeah, probably can't. How uh, everything, see how far? Watch how far the body goes right when I lift it. It goes left when I drop it. This one has an ever so slight, but you notice there's no turning of the wheels. So there's no bump steer at all in this one. Again, not that I ever never even noticed it till I stumbled across the video of somebody talking about it. So it has no effect for rock crawling or any effect whatsoever. If I was some kind of a little race car that'd be a different deal so um, all this the speed controller and the motor then becomes this and this includes the speed controller so there's no only part where the speed controller is sitting there all oh, this is the hobby wing uh, uh, fusion pro power button now i have another one of these gen 8 light kits but because of this the way this thing flashes Initially, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use uh, <laughs> just some generic thing I found off of Amazon. They got a lot of positive reviews, so I'm going to give that a shot. One of the cool things is that you got to take this thing apart. And looks 
Looks like that could be less than fun. But um, the dash, there's a place for a couple of lights so the dash will light up. Look, it even has window cranks inside. Is that cool or what? The door handles, see the door handles and the window crank on both sides, got foot pedals, all the shifters, the um, steering wheel, of course. And the shift knobs outside, non-folding mirrors, which this has. And um, they give you spares because I guess they break pretty easy in the back of it. Pretty cool. So same thing, you got holes in here for, for all your lights to go right in. So you got very distinct reverse lights and tail lights in the back. Windshield wipers out front. Kind of, you know, Traxxas and Axial's getting really good, and I'm sure others getting really good at making these scale things. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. So I'll doll this thing up a little bit. Before I show it to you the next time, but there we are, Gen 8, Gen 9. Nothing wrong with either one of them. I don't know why this one is so much noisier than the 8. Now, maybe the 8 was doing that before, and over time it's breaking broken in and gotten quieter. That could be a thing. I don't know. I just, maybe I should reflect back on the old video, but that one's so loud. I mean, I was out here, and Kelly's up there at the porch, and she's going, God, Lord, I could hear that thing from the porch. That thing's loud. But anyway, there we are. That's pretty cool. Real cool. It's really nice, both of these things. They're so much fun. You just don't even know what you're missing if you're not into this. I mean, you have no earthly, no earthly idea. All right, let's get with Mama Do goodbye. Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> the weekend has made it here finally oh man we're looking forward to one nice long weekend yes it's we're very be, busy at work yeah be bums at some point mm -hmm. have fun at others well it's always fun even when you're being bums you're yeah. tinkering with something yeah we're never just kind of oh, staring at a tv or anything no always doing projects <laughs> mama gets into her movies every once in a while and that's mm -hmm. cool but uh anyway hope you enjoyed the bmw ride that was cool 2016 well it's amazing same bike but how far they've changed over the years how much smoother and refined they get it's just weird that same bike can be so different you know and a um, little thing with the gen 8 and the gen 9 two red cats battle it out <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be fun we'll get those gens the two gins there together and go romping around somewhere here. Yeah, that'd be fun. It's that time of year we can get out and go play with them. Mm-hmm. So I figured out how to haul them on motorcycles. I had an idea with a bag, brought the thing home, and I guess my visual measuring and actual measuring two don't coincide. Yeah. yeah. I figured if we can get a high trail in one, we're covered for whatever, you know. Yeah, it was about four inches shy of even fitting in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway... On that, we're going to start our weekend. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. Let the weekend ride. Yes. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.